I drove three hours north to get to Seattle, battling Friday night traffic so that I could get there with just enough time to eat dinner and go to a park. Still have to do my hair. Getting ready to head over to the workshop. I'm pretty excited about it. Things that I want to work on in the workshop are mostly about paint texture. I used to paint pretty thick and more in a alla prima style and um, since I started going more realistic I uh, have lost a lot of that texture and David seems to be pretty good at combining the two like a fair amount of realism but still having um, you know, more texture in the paint. So I'm going to see, see if I can learn anything. Like to start in right around your brightest part, right around the highlight. Um, so when I'm painting with a knife, when you start painting with a knife, <clears throat> pay att close attention to where the paint is on the knife. So you pick it up, look at how much paint's on there, where it's at, is it on the edge, which edge, because when you're laying it down. Especially if you want thick paint, you're you're not scraping because that'll just pick it back up. You want to lay it down. Your your uh, knife is almost parallel to the panel. You're just placing it on there, floating above it. And that's why a flexible knife is so helpful because if it, your knife's too stiff, it's gonna gouge it more easily. So really try to lay it down and keep your knife clean because it can easily contaminate whatever next thing you're going to mix up so that's why i have a thick wad of paper towel so just wipe it off really easily <clears throat> okay. when i'm painting with the knife i end up doing um way more manipulation up here. Whereas with a brush, I try to get the color and value more exact down here rather than doing a lot of the manipulation up here. Thanks to David's expert demonstration, I decided to do the workshop with a palette knife. He let me borrow one of his and it was extremely challenging. He has certainly spent a lot of time mastering the palette knife.
still if I chose a bunch of dark subjects because I really wanted to make the cup look like it was glowing from the inside. So I was going to emphasize the glow of the cup. I had also intended to do a time lapse of my whole painting, but unfortunately the battery was dead in my time lapse camera. So you only get to see the very last bit and it's probably a work in progress. I will probably continue to work on this painting back in my studio. to the David Chiefitz workshop. It was definitely a pleasure and I learned a lot about using a palette knife. I don't see myself becoming a palette knife painter in the near future, but I probably will try another painting with a palette knife soon. Be sure to check out some of my other videos so that you can see what my normal paintings look like. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye!